Chapter 10, Obsolence of the Absolute. It's interesting when people tell stories of your past, everyone has a different vision. <laughs> it's interesting that two people can see exactly the same thing and see something very differently, isn't it? They say we don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are. So two people can see the same thing and they can see completely different things. In this chapter, Krishna is teaching us that some people say, I can't see God anywhere. But Krishna is saying, there are others who can see God everywhere. In other words, in this chapter, Krishna is teaching us how we can see him in every single aspect of the creation. Krishna says, you're never lost, and I'm never lost to you, if you have the vision to see me. So yes, people see things in different ways. When an adult opens the curtains in the morning and there's snow, there's frustration, isn't it? It means you're blocked, you can't go to work, you gotta, you know, the car doesn't start. There's so many complexities when the snow comes in, isn't it? It's like one of the pains of life. But when a kid sees snow, oh, that's, that's the best thing. Then you can just go and have fun. What can be better than the snow? See? When you're in the UK and you go on a train, then you see, a train is like this. One seat, one person. You know where this is going. But when you go India, People have a different vision. When you go India, if there's like five people on a double seat, they get offended. They're like, this is for 10. Why are you taking up so much room? It's interesting how people see the same thing but have a different vision. Once there was a husband and wife, they were on the side and they saw another husband and wife. So the other husband and wife, he walked around to the Mercedes Benz, he came to the passenger seat, he opened it like a gentleman. And the lady walked in and then he closed the door very gently. So this other couple was looking. So the wife said to the husband, just see, the marriage is new. And the husband looked back at her and said, no, no. The car is new. <laughs> is he worried about the marriage or the car? Hard to know. Different vision. Different people, different vision. We don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are. Some people say there's no God. Just have a good life. Just enjoy it. This is our friend, Richard Dawkins. And he wrote the God Delusion. I'm glad none of you have ever read it. And there are other people who can see God everywhere. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Velochanena. When you have the eyes which are smeared with the salve of love, you can see Krishna everywhere. So what does Krishna say to Arjun? Rasoham Apsukonteya Prabhashmi Shashi Shuriyayo. Pranava sarva vedeshu shabdha ke paurusham nrishu. Does a day go by when you don't drink water? Does a day go by when you don't see the light of the sun and the moon? Maybe in the UK. Does a day go by when there's no silence, when you just, that moment, just everything is silent? Krishna is everywhere. You can just sit somewhere on the side. In this one scene, Krishna is everywhere. The water, the sun, the peacefulness. And you can just sit down and you can just say, Om, and Krishna is there. So therefore, seeing God is a matter of training ourselves to understand that in the beauty of everything around you, is Krishna. Krishna is the best of everything. One time Srila Prabhupada was with his disciple and they were at the airport and a beautiful air hostess walked by. 
And Prabhupada looked at the devotee and said, beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> oh, how you will reply. The Brahmachari thought, maybe he's testing me. But then I should also not disagree with him. And what did Srila Prabhupada say? If she is that beautiful, imagine how beautiful the person is who created her. So you look around and you see all this beauty in the world. And you remember Krishna, the taste of water, the light of the sun, the silence in that moment. It's Krishna. So some people say, I can't see God anywhere. Krishna is saying, train your vision to understand. Yad yad viputi mat sattvam. All beautiful things in this world spring from but a spark of my splendor. And if you understand that, you will be able to see God 